Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province and the Kyungi Employment Foundation are currently recruiting participants for an employment program focusing on middle-aged individuals. Known as the Kyungi Job Continuation Program, this initiative is aimed at providing stable jobs to unemployed middle-aged individuals in the province while helping SMEs resolve manpower shortages. Program participants receive vocational education as well as ongoing employment services. On November 20th, Kyungi Province, the Kyungi Urban Innovation Corporation, the Economic Promotion Headquarters, and the cities of Ansan and Pochan signed a cooperation agreement for the establishment of the second industrial complex pairing for balanced regional development. Utilizing the development profits of an industrial complex in an area of high development demand to finance another complex in a relatively less developed area, this paired industrial complex development program, the first of its kind in Korea, was introduced by Kyungi Province in 2019. Following the launch of the first development pairing by the cities of Pyeongtaek and Paju, the second pairing includes Ansan City as a profit-generating development site and Pochan City as its counterpart. On December 1st, Kyungi Province and the Kyungi Community Chest jointly launched the 2022 Hope Sharing Campaign and unveiled the Thermometer of Love Tower. Running for 62 days until the end of January next year, this campaign seeks to raise 27.6 billion Korean won for charity. Displaying fundraising results in a real-time thermometer format, Thermometer of Love Towers will be installed at seven locations in the province this year, including one in front of the Kyungi Provincial Government Complex in Suwon City. Stepping Stone of Hope Kyungi Centers, Residential Independence Facilities for Juvenile Protection Facility graduates opened in the cities of Hwasong and Goyang. Sponsored jointly by Kyungi Province, Samsung Electronics, and the Community Chest of Korea, these centers provide residential space as well as independence training and counseling services. The province plans to offer these services through customized one-on-one -on -one support programs for employment, daily life, and financial management, as well as experiential independence programs and medical and educational programs. Kyungi Province announced plans to establish and implement comprehensive countermeasures against heavy snowfalls and cold waves during the winter. The province will establish and operate a 24-hour situation room and response system to immediately address related emergency situations until March 15th next year. In addition, the province has also installed on-site measures including automatic snow removal equipment and warming facilities such as heated bus stop benches. On November 26th, Kyungi Province convened a meeting with the heads of the 31 cities and counties of the province to review the current implementation status of the Seasonal Fine Dust Management System, which consists of 16 selected measures in six categories. Seasonal operation restrictions on Class 5 vehicles, in particular, will be applied throughout the entire capital region from December through to March next year by Kyungi, Seoul and Incheon. During the meeting, the province and local governments agreed to jointly collaborate from December so as to successfully implement the seasonal fine dust management system. The 2021 NRP Demo Day, a virtual and augmented reality research presentation event, was held in Kyungi Province both online and offline on November 24th and 25th. Introduced by the province in 2017, NRP, or New Reality Partners, is an augmented reality enterprise fostering program from which a total of 148 selected enterprises have benefited to date. This event saw presentations by beneficiary enterprises in the metaverse and augmented reality sectors, offering a glimpse into the future of these industries.
Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.